what I did? I invited a very special guest, Marsha, to come on the show today, and she's going to tell you her story. Now, this is what Marsha looked like before Nutrisystem. And now I want you to meet the new and healthier Marsha. Marsha, come on out. <laughs> fun are you? It is so good to have you here. Thank you for having me. These, what a success story. How much, first of all, Marcia, great to have you here. How much weight did you feel you needed to lose? I set my goal. I, I just, I set a goal and I wanted to lose 90 pounds. I actually lost two more than I planned on. You lost 92 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the biggest, I said, you know, people ask me all the time, does it work? Does it, I, you know, I can say it, but it's so fun to have people like you on. So here you are. What was going on in your life at that time? What did it feel like when you had that, that extra 92 pounds on? I was very miserable. I hated everything about myself. I could, people don't, people say now they don't, they didn't see me that way. So I must have been able to put a good face on, but I hated everything about myself. I didn't, I didn't like going places. I didn't like being with people. I didn't like doing anything just out in the public. Um, I was at a very low low stage in my life. I had, um, I had just lost um, four close family members in five years time. Really? Did that, did that maybe put some of the weight on? It did. Uh -huh. um, who did. Do you mind if I ask who you lost? And my parents were both sick for many years. My mother fought a brain tumor for 13 years. So I was constantly fighting with medical issues as well as financial issues. And on top of that, I had my own family, my own business. So the weight just continued to pile on. Um, it started with the birth of my children and then all that stress. Um, you just keep putting weight on I kept over putting, a period of so many years. Yeah, a period of Did, many years. So this is the big thing. I people see me; they see me very positive person. But there is a there is amount of depression that comes when you're not healthy. Did you feel any sort of depression? I, yeah, I, I realize that now. I was very depressed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it at the time. You don't know it, do you? No. You just to kind of get through life and think that's how yes, life has to be. But I, I do know now that I, I was at a very depressed stage, and when I lost them, all that responsibility was gone. And rather than take that time and do something, I just dug myself deeper and ate, ate more to, to fill that void. So you lost your parents and you lost... My grandmother, who really was my faith builder after I lost my dad, um, and my little dog, who had been through all the illnesses with everybody. I lost that dog, too. Oh, that's, Five years' time. That's brutal. That's tough. Yeah. Wow. So, so here you are. Th th this is the big question. And, how did you motivate yourself to say, I'm going to do this? That's a tough one. Yeah. Not, it was, I mean, easy answer. My um, oldest son told me he was getting married. And he um, came to me and said, Mom, I'm proposing, I'm getting married. And I told him he wasn't getting married. And he said, why? And I said, because I have to do something about this weight before you get married. And he looked at me and he said, Mom, do something now, because I'm getting married. And so that was it. I had a year to do it. And I had to figure out how I was going to do it, but I was determined I was. So that was my <laughs> Kids can do that to you, can't yeah. they? So, because it was my son that kicked me in the booty when I lost my 50 pounds. Okay. Yeah, he says, you need to be here. Yeah. Okay, so here you are. Did you, I mean, were you looking forward to this wedding? Did you feel like that was going to... How did you do it? Because you know what? You still have to stay motivated even when you try, when, when you get started. How did, how did you find Nutri? How did you say, this is what I'm going to do? Well, he told me about the wedding, and I, I had no idea what to do. And um, I saw a couple um, ads with you. Oh. <laughs> it was a Sunday paper. Um, there's Marie. I looked at it, and I did blow off the first one. I thought, it's just another diet. You know, it'll never work. Or a celebrity advertising thing. Not so much year. that, no. But the second one, the second Sunday, there was this same ad, and I'm like, okay. So I did some research, and that evening, that exact evening, I do not watch a lot of TV. I'm not a TV person, but I sat down with a big bowl of potato chips, and I'm flipping through the guide, and there was a show with you. And you were talking about Nutrisystem, and I can tell you exactly what you had on that day. <laughs> <laughs> and I watched it and I thought, well, you know what? Okay, this, somebody's trying to tell me something. This is what I need to do. So I talked with my husband. I ordered the food. And as far as the motivation during the process, yeah. that would be God. When I got my first box of food, <laughs> good. 
This is my little God story, but when I, first, when I got my first box of food, I, I sat on my living room, I got on my knees by that box of food, and I prayed to God he'd give me the strength to see this through. I said, I'm a weak person, I can't do it alone, I need your help. And I opened that box, and I went with it, and I fought like I never fought for anything in my life. I had the determination, the okay, willpower. So <laughs> She's gonna make me cry. I mean. That is so powerful. Because it is, it's a fight for your life. It's a fight for your self-esteem. It's a fight to not accept where you are in life, but to move forward and find something better for yourself. Because we deserve that. Yes, and I fought for everybody. I was a person every day I woke up as, what do I have to do for my mom, my dad, my family, my clients? I was always fighting for everybody else. This time I fought for me. Self-love. Okay, so here's the question. <laughs> How is your son, this is the big question. So how was the wedding? Wonderful. <laughs> and how did you feel? Well, they had their special day, but I kind of had mine too, because a lot of people hadn't seen me. A lot of my family hadn't seen me through this process, and they would come up to me, even friends and stuff, and say, I didn't even know who you were. You know, we didn't recognize you. Wow. That, so it you was know a what? big day. Not that that's a great, but you had to feel great about yourself. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, first of all, we have a great giveaway today because I wanted you to come on and talk about your story. Everybody in the audience, show them what you're getting. <laughs> you're <laughs> and it's like, you know, I went over to the UK and I put on a couple pounds over there because the, the craft service table was awesome. This is a great way to take off that weight really quick is the five-day plan. Thank you so much for being here, telling your story. Very powerful. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> for more information, log on to our show's website. Go to our website, hallmarkchannel.com, and uh, we will be right back. Thank you, Marsha.